This verse that we've just read from 1 Kings chapter 20 um, chronicles a story in the, in the history of Israel when King Ahab, whom the Bible says was a really bad king, he had a wife named Jezebel. And Jezebel was a pure witch on steroids. She was just a bad, really bad woman. She did a lot of witchcraft. She did a lot of nasty things. And Ahab was just being dominated by this woman whom even in the future we see that God used people who would do bad things under her name. So she was just really bad, bad person. And Ahab was not a godly king. And this particular time Syrians came against the nation of Israel and a prophet, a man of God comes to Ahab and the nation of Israel and he says, God is going to be with you guys and he will give you victory over Syrians. But make sure you put the young guys in the front and then you will have victory. So Ahab obeyed God, goes in and gets the victory. After the victory, Syrians gather together and they have their little council of the Syrians, defeated, discouraged. They're like, the reason why we got defeated is because the nation of Israel has a God and their God is the God of the hills. He's the God of mountains. He said, let's all repair all of our damage, restore all of our soldiers. Let's get more army and let's fight them in the valley because our gods are the gods of the valley and we will surely defeat them. Before even this council happened, God already warned the king Ahab that next year the enemy will come again, get ready for them. And this is the verse we read. Right before the battle, a prophet of God comes to Ahab and says again, he said, God has heard that his enemies have said that he is only a God of the mountains. And God wanted to make the record straight. He is the God of the mountains. But He's also God in the valley. Sometimes people refer to God as the God of the good times. When you get a promotion, a break, a child is born, you finally get that nice car that you wanted. Maybe you get saved, the depression leaves and you, you are on the mountain. It's such a beautiful thing and you feel like God is there and it's truly He is there and you scream on the top of your lungs, God is good. But God wants you to know He is not only God of the mountains, He's also God when you are in the valley. He's not just the God of the good times, He is also God in the bad times. He's not just the God of the day, He's also God in the night. And if you ever wonder when you hit a valley, does God even care? Does God even know my GPS? Does God even know my coordinates? Does God even know what's going on? God wanted them to win a battle to prove a point. I do. And I'm not just the God on the top. I'm also the God fully God not God mini not God second class version 3 but God all of God in the valley my God is the God in the valley 